everyone welcome back to the lily a simple mom if you're a new viewer thank you so much for watching my video please make sure you subscribe so you can see other videos in the future today i will be talking about something that my family went through um and i the reason why i want to point this um out it's because it had helped me uh, watching videos or anything that I can find at the same time I want to help more mothers about this so this video is about um, children wedding the bed at night uh, my son had a problem so he was already potty trained but at night he was not um, able to hold it he was peeing at night so I was trying to figure out why it happened how can I prevent it? Because I had to wash so many times the sheets. Um, I understood that he wasn't doing it on purpose. It's just that we have to find a way to help him uh, or work together um, to prevent this. So by me researching it, I found different tips. Like one was don't give your son or daughter water two hours before bedtime. Um, I tried that out, but still he had so many uh, wet nights. Um, uh, the other thing was making sure he goes potty throughout the night, but well, <laughs> that got us tired, me and my boyfriend, we were uh, taking turns to do that. So at 10, we'll take my son to the bath, well before he went to bedtime, we took it to the bathroom. Then at 10, we are wake up, and then we had an alarm, and then we take him to the bathroom. At 12, another alarm, take him to the bathroom. At 2, another alarm, take to the bathroom. And sometimes, at 4, another alarm, and take him to the bathroom. So it was very, very tiring, and there got to the point where I couldn't do it no more. So I was trying to find different ways that we could do this without losing sleep. Then I come across an article that talked about that there are the reason why children pee in bed is could be um, something with their body. Um, but this case, my son, what it is, is he's a heavy sleeper. Um, and that's the reason why he doesn't wake up to go to pee because he doesn't feel that he needs to go and he just pees without even feeling it because he's so asleep. Well, in that same article, they talk about how there was um, a pee, pee alarm or pee pee alarm. I don't know how you want to call it. So I was intrigued. Because I didn't even heard about pee alarm and it to me it was very awkward and I didn't know about it I never thought someone would invent that or how will they do it how does it work I was like so many questions in my mind well I researched it and I found a few pee alarms uh, for sale there's some that are told to be the best ones but there were like a lot of money that we couldn't pay then I found one that was very good and very cool reviews and um, it wasn't as expensive so we thought that we may give it a try and that one is I'm gonna show you the brand is wet stop 3 we got it in green because Logan loves green that's my son when we got it, I wasn't sure. I saw it and I was like, hmm, I don't know how it sounds. I don't know how this works. I don't know if Logan would like to wear it. We had so many questions. With this alarm, when you buy it, you can get a book where you can read about how you help your son to achieve a dry night. I'm gonna be honest. I was not sure if this will work. We did buy it because we were already tired of waking up so much. 
but this changed everything. It's actually very, very well worked, the price. Um, I will be giving you links in my descriptions for these to buy and their website. Um, I bought it through Amazon and there's some um, Amazon reviews that gives you more details as well and I read them and I follow them. They're really good. Now when you buy these, you get your P, your P alarm, you get um, stickers, so they have gold and they have silver. And they have a way to track your son's progress. Here it is. So what it is, is um, my son got so excited by tracking it with stickers. So I put these on the wall and I had a folder with these stickers. So he knew if he had a dry knife, he would get a gold sticker. If he had an accident, he would get a silver sticker. Now, you can see. And look at the silver. So, so far, and this has been maybe three months or even more that I have used it, he only had five, and there was one recent six accidents. That's it. And it's been months. It has worked so well for us. Now, another thing that you get is, of course, you go to website and you can download the book where you can read about it. Now, I'm going to put a picture of how to put the PP alarm on the children. Um, to me, it was very, very hard to figure it out and if he's going to like it or not. I'm going to add that in the link and I'm going to talk to you about how it works. I hope the picture helped you uh, figure out where to put the, the alarm. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention um, about the stickers. So you may ask why stickers? Why two different types? The book says that they don't want to discourage the kids even though they have an accident because they're not doing it on purpose but we're working together to get that result. So if there's an accident they still get a sticker because they are doing the effort to actually work with us and work together to stop this happening. And then of course the gold one says when he gets um, full dry night so what we did with my son is we told him if the whole month he did not have an accident or anything he will get a big surprise and that's what he did so he was very excited very motivated um, so this alarm has been amazing now I just want to point things out about the alarm so it, this is the alarm and if you can tell the key was really long um, it will be loose cable uh, what I do is I try to put it inside his shirt because that way it's not loose and he can get tangled with it or anything like that this alarm this is the sensor or the top part clamps into the clothes the only thing it has come off with my son sometimes it appears all separate but because he's been doing so great I think I'm not gonna even use it no more but um, it does help, of course. I will show you this little piece is the sensor. This is where it captures if something is wet. It does not recognize being for, like for, for sure. As long as he's wet, this will trigger it. I will show you how the sound, okay? Okay, so what I did is I got a wipe that's wet and their sensor is open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this wipe to you here. This is how the alarm sounds when there's wet. And then when you finish drying it and it's not filling anymore, it's gonna stop. I'm trying to make it stop. I'm using one hand, sorry, I don't have my holder. 
Okay, let me make it stop. <laughs> Alright, so I thought I had to stop it by making this dry. No. You have to press this little bottom here. That tells you that this alarm didn't sound that much times at all. Um, another thing I want to point this out. If you son or daughter is a heavy sleeper, this is what's going to happen. This alarm, I'm going to do it again. It's not going to wake up your son. My understanding is that that sound has to wake up your son. But because my son is a heavy sleeper, it did not wake him up at all. Even though the alarm was right next to his ear, it did not happen. So, we have monitors from my room to his room to hear what he, if he talks, or he moves, or he gets out. So, when I heard very faintly heard this alarm, I run to the room. Guess what? Laundry day that day. We had an accident. Now, the book says that when you do have an accident, you have to wake up fully your son or daughter. And you have to help, ask them to help you change themselves and help you clean the bed. The reason why is because they don't want to do that. They want to keep falling asleep. So they will prevent from that happening. But in reality, I am tired. I just want to go to bed. Uh, it's easier for me to just put my son next to me uh, in my bed for now and then make the bed, clean him up really fast, do everything. Then waking him up, dealing with that he doesn't know what to do, things like that. Um, but for me, this alarm worked very good. Now, one thing you want to uh, pay attention is that even though I had the monitors, I still couldn't hear this alarm. If you sleep close to your son, mine is right across my room, I would recommend you leaving the door open, and that's what we do. If you're a heavy sleeper, you may not hear it as well, but I, I'm a heavy sleeper, but since, or when it's time for me to watch my son, um, something makes me not be a heavy sleeper, and I wake up often with noises. So when I hear this alarm, I know what to do, run for it. And um, what we still do is we still put the alarm even though it's been months, but we are going to take it out already. He doesn't need it no more. Uh, there was one day that he had a nightmare and that's why he had an accident and it's okay. We understand. Uh, what we try to do still is before he goes to bed, we take him to the bathroom. And then sometimes around 12, we still take him one more time, but that's it. We don't do it um, many times, like four, so it's not as tiring as before. One thing I do want to mention in the book that I read, it states that sometimes children hold the urge to go to the bathroom during the day. When I read that, or after, right after I read that, I started to notice that my son did that. When he woke up, he did not want to go to the bathroom. He did not go to the bathroom until really late. And sometimes at school, he would hold it. And then I started noticing a father. So before we had a successful night, uh, it's when I started noticing. So what I did as well is change his behavior. So what I did is, I started to, um, as soon as he wake up, bathroom. Before he drink anything, he likes milk in the morning, he goes to the bathroom. And then every two hours I had an alarm making him go to the bathroom. He didn't want to. You have to go. He didn't want to. You have to go. You have to make them go. And I noticed that he started holding his pee more at night. And even in nap time. Uh, he doesn't get that many nap times, but sometimes he's very tired and he does. But um, all those things, I noticed them and I learned about him thanks to this alarm. That is why I wanted to do this video. So it's very important if you're having troubles with this, um, 
not all the systems will work for everyone these work for me so I got these and at the same time I got some um, bed mat, mat, mat uh, like pads for retaining pee but I got the ones that are washable because I didn't want to spend too much money in getting um, brand new ones you know the the ones that you can throw away I wanted to get one that's reusable um, they were like around $11 in Amazon as well I'm gonna put all the links in the, the description so it's very important alarm good protection for the bed very good so you don't have to wash too much uh, stickers uh, rewards and make sure you work with him leave the door open take him to the bathroom before he goes to bed make sure he's not holding through the day and that will help you be successful uh, like I said I'm not an expert but these work for me and that's why I'm doing this video so please if you like this video click like and subscribe for more videos I do reviews about things that I use at home uh, I teach my, teach my, ch my son at home some things so I'm gonna do those videos as well um, thank you so much again I really appreciate it have a wonderful day